everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm gonna talk about disney cruise and for this specific video i'm gonna talk about the disembarkation day so i'm gonna share tips and tricks for disembarkation day to make your disembarkation smoother <laughs> so if you're new to my channel my name is angie i make tons of tons of disney cruise video and i share about tips and hacks and my journey and my experience uh, with Disney Wonder going to Alaska so make sure you check them out and more videos are coming up because I have tons of tips and tricks to share so without further ado let's begin number one so you need to prepare the night before you need to put your luggage outside your stateroom from 8 30 o'clock to 10 o'clock at night so make sure they will grab your luggage and arrange everything you also need to make sure that you put the tags on your bag otherwise it will get mixed up because they will put your luggage based on your group name like mickey mini daisy something like that and remember to fill out the declaration form it's a white one it's like one paper and one per family so if you have three members in your family you only need one form and remember to give the tips to the surfers most of them you will prepare on the on your credit card already uh, but if you want to give extra we give something extra for each of them and then you can put it on the alum envelope with the paper saying that you already prepaid uh, for the tips how much and the, the extra money and put it on the envelope and give it to them the night before you disembark or on the day in the morning when you disembark and second is to pack a day back because you will not have your luggage access uh, on day 7 at night and in the morning they will put everything out already uh, you need to pay, pack your makeup toiletries extra clothes for sleep and extra clothes for uh, in the morning and if you have little one remember to pack extra clothes because they might have accidents and the next day you will have breakfast seven o'clock if you have main seating eight o'clock if you have second seating and you will have breakfast at the same restaurants as you had dinner the night before it's just to make everything easier and if you have early flight or if you want to go into a tour you can always have breakfast uh, at Cabanas as well they will open early at 6 30. number three is remember to fill out the survey they really depends on the survey so make sure you fill them out uh, and you can always put the survey in the box in the morning in front of your restaurant but don't worry they will keep reminding you like the night before and in the morning number four is to remember to get your passport because if you're not Canadian citizen they will arrange everything for you first um, they will prepare the custom and everything so on the day you don't need to prepare you don't need to go to custom and security anymore but on the day you need to pick it up at, at the specific space that they mentioned to you mostly is at the Cadillac lounge they will give it to you and they will um, arrange everything already so remember don't pack the important documents on your luggage remember to pack it on your day bag or diaper bag and if you're curious uh, in the morning you have to get up from your room already so you after breakfast you cannot go to, back to your room you need to put or bring everything uh, so during the breakfast you need to bring everything out from your room already so make sure you don't leave anything out uh, you can always put your bags uh, strollers uh, in front of the restaurant so you don't need to bring all the stuff to your table number five after that you just need to wait until your group name is called and our group is mini mouse and we were called around 9 to 9 30. Uh, usually the first one is concerts always got the first priority the second one would be the express check out if you have an early flight and you just need to bring your luggage so if you're doing uh, express check out you don't need to put your luggage outside your stateroom you just need to bring your own luggage uh, I would say if I don't have any kids I would choose this one because whenever I want to get out I can just get out but again uh, we live in Vancouver so we don't need to rush for anything we are not going for a tour or we're not going for uh, a flight going somewhere number six again uh, if you're if you brought Ulu they always uh, from the port they will always hold it uh, for you first and on the day when you disembark they will put it on the table and you can pick up your ulu knife and after that you don't need to go to security you don't need to go to custom because they arrange everything for you already number seven is to bring your luggage up after you go out to the terminal and it's really fast they put everything per group already it's easy to see uh it takes like second to get your luggage but the problem is after that <laughs> so even though you don't have any security or custom that you need to go through is is there's like 
chaos and line up everywhere for the rental for the rental car and for the taxi and for the van so i talked a little bit on my previous vlog which is day eight so you can watch that one a little bit as well but i'm gonna explain more in this video so i will say that after you got out from the mickey ship everything like all the magic is gone like everything is so hectic everything is so chaos the ambience is just so different and the environment and the ambience is just so different from the first day as well when you embark i know i think most of the staff are the same but their surface is so different everybody is like in the bad mood i don't know why i guess everybody is so busy because every so many people disembark at once and um we even line up for the rental car we didn't know that it's a lineup for the rental car before because there's just huge lineup everywhere we asked the staff they said we asked whether it's a lineup for taxi and she said yes so we spent like half an hour waiting there and turned out it's the wrong one we went down with the elevator we went up with the elevator again and just go through the car is so hard and then finally we find the lineup for the taxi and another chaos is begin. There's nobody there. It's so hard to ask questions. And the van and taxi line is different. But to go to the van line, you need to go to the uh, beginning of taxi line. And everybody's just stuck there. So if you want to go to van, which we are planning to take a fan it's really hard to go there and yeah and the fan line moves so slow as well and finally there's someone there and we, we asked whether this is the line for the van she said sarcastically that like good luck but we couldn't take taxi because we have big stroller and we have two adults and one kid so that's why we are planning to take a fan but we waited for one hour and 15 minutes the line is just not moving there, there's not a lot of like fan available and the one that your older porter like the one with disability and something like that and even the one that is not disability somehow they have like special line they always cut the line and they will get the van first and everybody's so bad mood already so you have to be really careful if you have early morning flight or afternoon flight because if you are planning to take taxi or van going to the airport you need to be really car careful the line is just not moving and then because we live so close to the skytrain stations we we discuss whether we should take the skytrain instead and it's a little bit raining but uh finally the rain gets better so my husband and i decided to go and then door to door from the tapino to our place from our to our house it's only like half an hour so we spent one hour and 50 minutes on the line and half an hour on a wrong line and it's just so crazy so just be careful so always uh, prepare extra flight so even though you're out at 9 9 30 even though you have early breakfast in the morning uh the line for the public transport is the problem uh finally i got home around 12 30 so can you imagine we had breakfast early in the morning we have to wait and because of the line and da -da 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 -da, and we got home at 12 30 so don't book like 12 11 o'clock flight uh thinking that you can make it i don't think you can make it just book a later afternoon or evening flight if you can so it's not the problem at the terminal only because i remember when i got back from jamaica and Montreal at the vancouver airport the line is just so long and it took so long as well i read about this already on the facebook group because they say the line for taxi will be like so long but the problem is it's a little bit raining and we're just so tired we don't want to ruin the disney magic but apparently the line for the taxi is just ruining the magic uh the magic of the disney cruise so be careful of that i don't want to ruin your disney cruise experience but i just want you to be prepared uh, that you need to face that one later on and remember if you have like a tour or if you have like early flight if you don't have any choice just request to go outside from the ships earlier just request for like a different tag like i think it's a two pluto one so you can go out from the ships after the concierge level and then after that uh reality hits you need to prepare for work for the next day you need to prepare for school for the next day and then last but not least about one to three days uh, we feel a little bit moving so even though I don't get seasick and my whole family doesn't get seasick uh, don't get seasick on the cruise but after what we feel like a little bit like dizzy a little bit so be prepared of that as well it's not bad but you just feel a little bit of something so I hope these tips useful for you to prepare your disembarkations and also watch my video about the process of the embarkation day tips and tricks on your embarkation day 
what to pack on your embark embarkation day back and if you're taking skytrain from uh if you're taking skytrain going to the terminal how to and whether it's workable so stay tuned and thanks for watching guys bye What are you saying? Not the time or the place, baby, it's not right It's not right, no Going insane